Greetings, Poké fans! Michael here, and welcome to the newest episode of my Pokémon Ultra Sun! Let's play walk through my very first journey through these brand new Pokémon games, joined today by my lovely girlfriend Jubilee, as I have been the last, last many episodes, actually. Um, because they're all filmed on the weekend when she doesn't have work. <laughs> but anyways, uh, if you have been enjoying, have, if you have been enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you answer the comment question down below. And if you missed the last episode, you're going to want to check that out. We had a very intense battle against Lucamine and learned some interesting deviations from the Sun and Moon story. Um, I did receive this product and the copy of Ultra Moon that Jubilee is playing free from Nintendo. All right, I think I have covered all the bases. So now we're going to go outside and see Lily in her spicy new outfit. So when it protects on a Z move, how much does the damage does that reduce? reduce? I don't know. Emotions? A lot, apparently. <laughs> Hey girl, Z Lily. Is that the same outfit she wore before? In the last game, yeah. I feel like there's so much I have to do now to save Nevi, to save my mother. I want to be like you, Michael. I want to be strong enough to face any trial. So I'm gonna try my hardest. This is my Z powered form. <laughs> Cute. This is where you were. Found this downstairs. It's the moon flute. It's apparently an artifact from Alala's past. They say it's to be played under the moon's light. Alala! Is that what she just <laughs> Yeah. The sign of the moon flute. We sounded together. It said they can call the legendary Pokemon. That is, if you believe in old myths, anyway. It's like members of the Ultra Recon Squad said, right? The legendary Pokemon really does exist. We might be able to reach that other world where Necrozma is. Here, take this with you. Thanks for this extremely valuable thing, dude. It's a master ball. I can catch any Pokemon without fail. I'm counting on you to save my family now. This is the least I can do. What are you gonna do, Gladian? Deal with this mess. I've gotta clean up either paradise. All I wanted was to be able to protect everybody together with Null. Maybe I couldn't do that, but I'll make sure that this place at least stays safe. The foundation that our mother loved. My God! Hey, I had a good nap. I slept later than all of you. <laughs> it's Lily, isn't it? What happened to you? Yes, it's me. Now I'm ready to use my full force, too. You are all amazing! That's it. I've decided. What? I keep getting saved by... So they changed the dialogue. In Sun and Moon, he tells Lily that she looks amazing. And Gladian's like, what? But now it's more like, you're all amazing! And then Gladian's like, wait, what? <laughs> it's like a very different exchange, even though Gladian said the exact same thing. We wanted to save Lily and Cosmo. My partner and I both felt that way, and we were in sync. We were so much stronger. That's how it felt to me. So, I'm gonna try and chase that feeling down again, together with Decidueye and my team. Our family drama ended up changing the kind of trainer you want to be. Sorry for getting you dragged into our mess. Sure, you might have been a part of it, but in the end, the only one who's gonna make me change is me. You are the most mature 11 year old on the planet. <laughs> Besides, Miss Lucy is out there trying to keep Lola safe, right? I knew she was a good person. Uh, I guess. <laughs> she's always convinced me that what she's doing is right, but she's really kind of selfish. But I think she really just wanted to find our father who disappeared into an ultra wormhole. Ow. Thank you for your kind words. I'm really happy you feel that way. I can get you to the next island at least Pony Island. I'll wait for you at the docks. I don't get to surf there? What if I want to surf? <laughs> I want to surf to Pony Island. But apparently they do not have a beach. It's quite a change. You mean Lily? That's right, she looked full of energy and it's not just because of the changing clothes. Okay, please give me, please give me your Rotolato abilities. Sorry to keep you in it. Rotolato time. Prize money? A couple more. Need to save those in an amulet coin and I will be rolling in the bank months. Yes, you will. Okay. Uh, 
Are there any items over here? I don't think there are. And they don't let me ride my Tauros, but there's so much room to do so! Nope. Okay. Alright, let's go to the docks. Why did they make me run all the way there? Why weren't they just like, let's go to Pony Island now and then take me with them? Because <laughs> they hate you. <laughs> They're hoping that they'll just leave you behind. Ow! Failure. I went the wrong way. I know. That's what I get for button mashing. What's this guy doing here? Okay, now now Aether Paradise is just the regular people. Oh wait, this is not where the boat is. That was where Team Skull's boat is. I just saw the boat over there. Oops, I went the wrong way. There you are. Ready to go? Yes! Alright, let's go, Michael. No holding back. Oh, that was Lily. Pona a land! Oh, I see the... I think... Oh, I think I see the beach. I was concerned it might be post-game, but we should investigate this beach and its move tutors promptly. So beautiful! Gorgeous village, I must say. Now you're caught up with me. Yes, indeed. I think it's interesting how they, uh... What do you call it? <laughs> they made a boat out of a Pokemon that's weak to water. They made the Steelix boat. <laughs> In Sun and Moon, didn't wasn't it the blue shellos that you could get? Yeah. You couldn't get the pink one? I don't know if it's version exclusive or what. I know you found a blue one in your game. I don't remember what I have. Kind of excited. You should be. Could you watch your Sorry. I apologize. Wonder what kinds of new Pokemon we'll find to fill up the whole island Peckerhose decks. This is the... Oh, a sticker. Hmm. Huntail face taking up the screen. 66. I bet only four more and I can get a... Uh... Hello. Oh, there is a sticker in here. Yes. Doesn't this guy give me a, uh... I need to buy some oh, this is just how I get the Magmarizer and Electorizer if I want to Electivire or a Magmortar. But you do need to complete the Pokedex. Could also just bring him in for my son. <laughs> or you could do that. Frickin' Pelly. Well, if your supplies are running dry here on Pony Island, you have a boat. Leave the island. <laughs> Another sticker? This is a pretty cool... Well, that's that daughter? Okay, this is where, uh, this is, um, Painter Girl's house. They talked about once our daughter starts focusing on the painting and more on her captain stuff. Alright, so... What is her name? I can't remember her name. Painter Girl Trial Captain lives in that boat. <laughs> Corsola, hello. Oh, hey, she's on top of the boat this time. Instead of that random veteran guy. Oh, my goodness. Whoa! Whoa! Hail, Lord. 
I'm sorry, who are you? What is her name? Mina. I'm the local captain. Captain Mina? It's nice to meet you then. Let's get right down to things. Which one of you is here for my trial? No, that's not why we're here. I actually, I, I would like to do it, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's true that Michael is in the middle of his island challenge, but we're here to meet the Kahuna of this island. The Kahuna? Oh, well, that's a problem. Maybe you should talk to Hapu? So Hapu lives here on Pony Island? Well, thank you very much, Captain Mina! I suppose I do not get to find you. Booty. I wish to partake in your painting combat, but it seems I must wait. Oh, the Steelix's face looks awesome. Oh, a sticker. 69! Hmm, a TM. Flash Cannon! Can any of you. I actually you? taught that to my Starmie. Oh, nice. I think it was Starmie. Booty. <laughs> what would have been nice if Ninetales could learn that. That would have helped with fairies. Freaking fairies knowing psychic moves, that's just not fair. <laughs> oh, there's a sticker over here. Well, hopefully, this is enough to get the next totem Pokemon. 70. Let's see what it is. Alright. We'll fly there real quick, see what it is, and then fly back. Because I have fly, and this takes like five seconds. <laughs> Oops. Hello, sir. You collected 70, I told you to give it a special. <gasps> oh, nice. Congrats. But now I want it, like, to use it, but I can't, you know? Because I already have a full team of six. <laughs> you could use it. I could use it. It'd be really cool. It's not the same as a regular one. It's huge. It'd be pretty cool to see. I haven't seen any of them yet in battle. It has an organ that generates electricity in its abdomen. It concentrates energy in its strong jaws and fires off powerful jolts of electricity. It probably gave it good EVs and IVs and natures. I'll add it to my party. Oh, it's a girl. Like, just like Havoc. What should I name you? Tuvik. <laughs> just kidding. I really have no idea what to name this thing. Maybe. Look up synonyms for Havoc. Ooh, Ion. Alright, I'm gonna add it to the party after, to check it out. After Glade Ion? <laughs> <laughs> Glad Ion! <laughs> Um, send the boxes. Cause like, grassy MZ, like, giving it to someone. What level is it? It's only level 35, so that's kind of a sucker, but... Levitate. Oh my god, it has a special attack boosting nature. I told you I'd probably have an ideal nature if I <laughs> and Eevees. Oh, but it doesn't know Thunderbolt. Oh, that sucks. That's actually really bad. Wait, uh, wait, but isn't there a... Can't you access the person? The person? I need the TM. Oh. You can't learn it by level up? Well, see, it learns it as an evolution move. Like, whenever it evolves, it gets it. But the tricky thing now is the fact that it's already evolved. So you can't use a heart scale? <laughs> well, the person I don't get to until Mount Lanakila. It's special attack is almost triple its attack. You could teach it thunder. I suppose that's true. Thunder do you think I should? Horrible. I'm like really tempted to use it in place of Sceptile. You should do it. Yeah, that's who it replaces. Yeah, because it's like it. Do it. You got to use Sceptile. Like it's cool to change it up, especially with something as cool as this. Like you actually have it. I don't even have this yet. You're right. 
You've been collecting all these stickers, you might as well do something with this- all the effort you put in. You're right! I'm sorry, Sceptile, but holy crap, I have a giant Vike Vault! <laughs> Can learn Volt Switch. I think Thunder. Is there anything you can do to raise Thunder's accuracy? Charge Beam? Which raises my special attack every time I use it. That wouldn't be too bad. Better than Spark. Yeah, because, like, I mean, it's weaker, but it's also, like... The correct... My special attack is... Yeah. It's, it has a special attack boosting nature. Yeah. Like, it has its speed lower, but, like, Vikevolt slows balls anyway, so who cares? No one cares about that. It will never move first anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, welcome to the team, Ion, the giant freaking Vikavolt. Oh my god. <gasps> I have rainbow beans. Oh, we're about to see what a giant Vikavolt looks like in Pokemon Refresh. Does it even look different? Oh, it's gonna look different. <laughs> what if it doesn't? <laughs> You're gonna see. Well, now my team is half girls, half boys. Look at this thing! It's on the upper screen! It's, <laughs> it's huge! Its shadow is the only thing on the lower screen. How are you gonna pet it? Or feed it? Oh, I only have one rainbow bean? Ah, nuts. Oh, okay. It brings it to the lower screen. It ate the entire thing in one bite! Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's hilarious! You know, I don't feel that bad, honestly, because I'm replacing my favorite Pokemon with my second favorite Pokemon. <laughs> so... Don't feel bad. Plus, it's really cool. It's a cool thing. You should use one of these. When you're playing Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you might as well use their thing that they added this game. You're so right. This is so awesome. And, you know, I didn't get it until late, but I also didn't have to worry about leveling up a Charger Bug, you know? Alright, I think that's enough for now. I think I'll just wait till I get another Rainbow Bean. Well, I need one more. Let me check out the Move Tutors. Is Signal Beam stronger than Bug Buzz? Knee high! Knee high! Okay, let's look at this. Ninety. Seventy-five, okay. I'm keeping bug buzz. Alright, well I think this is well actually I wanna investigate the other tutor on Ula Ula. I know there's not gonna be anything on uh there's not going to be anything good on, what do you call it? On Melee Melee. I mean, it could learn Bug Bite, but that's a physical move that's weak, so that would be dumb. Iron Head, Aqua Tail, Paint Split, Thunder Punch, and Dare, Focus Punch, Icy Wind, Zen Head, but Sea Bone Laser, Focus, Roll on Magic. Okay, there's like n almost no special moves at this thing. <laughs> so, never mind. We'll live with Charge Beam for now. Until I find the Thunderbolt TM. Where did- Oh, did you buy the Thunder TM in the Pokemon Center? I think I might delete Acrobatics for Thunder. So it's like, you know, I can risk the, uh... I can risk the lower, um, accuracy if it's like a sticky situation. Mm -hmm. Expensive. Um, and I'll delete acrobatics because, like, I'm not gonna use physical moves. What do you take me for? <laughs> Some kind of scrub lord. A scrub lord. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, what is Rock Slide's accuracy? Because if it's the same accuracy. 
A Stone Edge, 90. Okay, it actually is more accurate than Stone Edge, so I think I'm going to keep it because I hate missing moves. Stone Edge is only like 80% accurate, I think. Do you give me free things? Eight trials for the island challenge. Two of them are at Pony Island. So there's eight trials. They didn't... It's not like they replaced the dragon, the comma one. They didn't replace that with Minas. They added Minas. So there's eight now. So I bet it's still, now that I know that, I think it's still gonna be a Kamo O. And then Mina's gonna have like some other fairy totem, like a totem Kamfe or a totem like Shinotic or something. Shinotic. Might do some bike vault training off camera. Oh. Oh, hey, the other beach. <laughs> That's right, I forgot. Let's see what tutors are here. Oh, yeah. Where are they? Actually look at that yet. There aren't any. What? Uh, hey. There's no tutors. What is this madness? Wait, it said there were move tutors, like, there's a move tutor somewhere. At least on the, didn't it? Like, if you click on the city, at least. There is move tutor, but it's it's not. I don't think it's uh. I don't think it's like these move tutors. I think it's like the. Uh, hmm. It's like it shows move tutor even if it's like I can only teach you dragon Draco Dragon's meteor or something. Oh, that's right. There is the that Draco meteor person. You're right. Is this a duo? Oh, because they're one of those trolling whatever. You're gonna see how big this Vikavolt is. You're gonna see how big it is compared to Garchomp. <laughs> Capoeira couple. No idea what that means. To me and foos. Interesting. It's huge! <laughs> <laughs> A monstrous creature. Yeah, well, that went well. Way to go, Sahara! Yeah, 49! Oh, the team for Scald. Oh, nice. Oh, I should totally delete uh, Water Pulse on text for that. I think I would rather have this than... Wait, what's... Scald than Bubble Beam? Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. Finally, a better water move, move than, yeah, than for Bubble all Beam. this time. Yeah, Scald's great. Finally, I can beat a like, roller. you have no idea. That's... Bubble Beam has 65 base power, that's so bad. Look how much of the camera it takes up. Yeah, it's gigantic. I just imagine that thing being full of, like, bug guts, and how gross that is. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder! Behold its unstoppable power. It truly... Oh! 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 <laughs> well, I got excited because there was like a bubbling spot, but then I ran past it. Oh, Jubilee, no! How dare! <laughs> exactly. A Chopelberry. So the last set of move tutors is not at the beach. I bet they put it at the battle tree. Like, because it's probably the most powerful moves, and so they're like, we, we gotta put these post-game, you know? Yeah. Just because, like... Probably true. Also, if you're on Pony Island, you should be close to the people who will teach you surf and uh, waterfall. You know where they are. 
They're on the, like, the Pony Breaker Coast, you know, that, like, dark sand area, and it's, like, a two bikini girls. I don't know if they, like, show up post-game or if they've always been there, but... I'll look for them. I, that's where I am right now, so... They're, like, if I recall correctly, they're very close to the cave entrance. Okay, because that's where I'm headed. That's, like, the next thing. I'm headed in. I'm not, like, hurrying over there, because I want to kind of, like, you know, explore a bit. This is the guy that only battles me once I beat everyone else, I can already tell. Ma'am, I would like to take you on using my stupidly large Vikavolt. <laughs> How many levels below was it? <laughs> like, 13. It was level 35, and still is. Yeah. That's a fine level flow game in the last time. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see how much this does. If it hits. Alright then. It's not going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> but its special attack is stupid high. Yeah, it really is. Nuts. It's a, Thunder is a two-hit KO on this Pokemon that has reasonably high bulk and is ten levels higher. Yeah, I mean, that'll happen sometimes. <laughs> I might need to do some grinding of it off-camera, though. I mean, that's fine. I don't want to hurry through the story, so if you can delay yourself a little bit... It's like, just so you can hang out and not get spoiled, yeah. Yeah, I want to explore a little bit before I progress. I'm not gonna dig. I'm pretty sure I can kill this thing with a dragon claw. Try to find this or you can do it. I also haven't gone to the coast yet, but there's nothing really to do there, it looks like. Well, that's where you're supposed to go in the story. No. Oh, did they change it? Because in Sun and Moon, you like have to meet uh, Hapu in the ruins. So for like her to be gifted with her Z ring and become the Kahuna. No, yeah, you have to go to the ruins, but like that doesn't have anything to do with the beach. Well, no, the it's it's not a real beach. It's just the dark area, like right oh, next I to it. Oh, I meant the beach. I meant the surfing beach. Oh, okay. I was sorry. Like, I haven't gone over to the surfing beach yet. I gotcha. I am currently at the the dark beach area right now. The dark beach. Uh, I would use Vikavolt on this, but. Why does hers get to no liquidation? I don't mind no liquidation, but I can't learn it until level 58. Assuming they kept level up movesets the same. That's weird. Where was the Scald TM? Uh, it was on a, you have to like progress more. Okay. Go, go meet up with Haku and. Okay. I'm so pumped it's a totem Vikavolt, though. I was like, I hope they do that, like, you know? I, it's interesting how they decide what totem Pokemon they'll give you, because, like, it's they give you the totem Gumshoes, which is the same as the first trial, mm -hmm. but then he gives you, like, the, uh... Then he gives you a totem Alolan Marowak, skipping the water trial completely, and giving you the totem Pokemon of this game. But then it's a Lorantis, so that's the next in the progression, and it's the totem Pokemon that in both games. But then, the Electric Trial is the next trial, but he doesn't give you a token tomorrow, he gives you a Vikavolt, the totem Pokemon from the old game. So it's interesting, like, it's there's really no way to predict which one you're gonna get. Yeah. Alright, after I finish this battle, I think we'll call it an episode. I probably will do some grinding of Vikavolt off-camera. But to make sure my team doesn't get too overleveled, I'll probably, like... Take them out? Yeah. Like, maybe I'll use Sceptile to grind, you know? Because... Yeah. That's pretty much what I did, and it worked well. Why are there totem stickers in people's rooms? That's yeah, I know, people. right? <laughs> I'm gonna switch to be safe. Like, I have Flash Cannon and this thing is weak to steel, but safety first.
Ah, that did nothing. <laughs> Oh, so close. That was a crit. Oh, it knows Thunderfang. Spicy. Tex is faster than I thought he was. I don't think Tex's base speed is as low as I have perceived it to be, because he outspeeds a lot of Pokemon. He's a great Pokemon. Yeah, he is. He's like one of the best. <laughs> Ion, I'm not gonna teach you Dig. Sorry, buddy. You need to be learning special moves. Nacho's level 52. Ampharos. All right, let's get Ion back in. And then switch Garchomp in. Gotta make sure we get the maximum experience points. This is so cool that I'm using it. Oh, come on! Okay, that wasn't that bad. Please one shot. Booyah. All right, now we switch Vikavolt back in. For a Sharpedo. We can actually probably beat this Sharpedo. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. You wanna know why we can beat this Sharpedo? Why? Because both Bug Buzz and Thunder are good against it. Uh. Excellente! Excellente! Let's try for a Thunder and hope it hits. Ooh. And hope we don't die to this. Of course it misses. Never mind. FML. To use Bug Buzz. Dazzlingly. And there we go! Yeah, I definitely think I'd invite Volt to the team as a right call. It gives me a lot more coverage that Sceptile just couldn't offer. Like, I still love Sceptile, but it's just like. He was really, he could really only use, like, grass moves, you know? Yeah. Like, he learned, like, dual chop and egg scissor, but his physical attack was way lower. Yeah, yeah. And, like, his only other solid um, special attacks are, like, Dragon Pulse, and I have Garchomp, right. and Focus Blast, and I have Halucha, and Focus Blast is stupidly low inaccurate. But, alright guys, that's where I think I'm gonna call it for this episode. I do plan to do some grinding of Ion off-camera. Um... But I think I'm going to put, like, you know, I'm going to try and take other Pokemon out of the party just so, you know, they don't get even more overleveled than they already are. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like. Make sure you answer the comment question down below. And that is all we have for now. So until next time, Pokemans, gotta catch them all!